This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. Shall we start up the session, please? Yeah. All right. So yesterday we have seen document parking. So in document parking, we have seen various technical inputs as well. How to how to assign user to tolerant groups, and we have understood what document concept and how this will be used. Even we have also seen the internal mailing facility within SAP. Okay, so that was the last session which we had on the topic document thing, and today's topic is intercompany code transactions or cross company code transactions. Please do remember it is not intra company code, it is inter company code transactions. Okay, inter company code. When a transaction is called as inter company code or cross company code transaction, definitely it's a business transaction. So, when a business transaction is being considered as inter company code or cross company code transaction, it's very simple. If any transaction has taken place between two company codes, then this is the transaction is called as intercompany code transaction which is also called as cross company code transaction i repeat once again the concept and intercompany code transaction the transaction which has taken place which has happened or an activity which has taken place or done between two company codes of the same company then that transaction is called as intercompany or cross company code transaction. That means to see the scenario of inter transactions, minimum we need to have two company codes. Okay, so the because the transaction between two company codes is being categorized, being classified, being known as intercompany code or cross company code transaction. Let me take an example. Hope my screen is with so. Already we have created one company code that is MMI. I'm assuming one more company code MMI2 to understand company code scenario. Okay, so two company codes one is MMI, another one is I2. Assume MMI2 is a company code, both are company codes only. MMI2, MMI1 is an old company code mmi2 is a newly established organization newly established business entity so as as it has established recently it might not be having final uh, funds it might not be having freedom to spend spend its financial resources effectively without any hesitation or it might be having some problems related to the funds or related to the budgets to continue or to uh, do transactions in that scenario what it do is take help from the previous company code that mm1 what i mean to say is mi2 is a newly established company new established company which is has some problems with respect to budget or finance so to do its activities to with its activities it is taking financial help from the mmi1 that means whatever the expenses third by mmi2 code those expenses will be paid by m company code on the first of mmi2 that means expenses will be incurred by mi2 which is a newly new company code and those expenses will be met by MMI1 company code. So what MMI2 has done is, is a new company code. MMI2 has requested to make the payment of the transactions done by MMI2. Okay, and these payments will be made by this expense met by the one. And later on in future, when the position of MMI2 comes comes good it will reimburse or it will pay back the amount to the mi1 so your point we need to understand from my explanation is some transaction has take place and this transaction is taking place between two companies 
two companies are being involved in the transaction therefore this transaction has to be inter code transaction or cross company code transaction repeat once again for your clarity i am assuming two company codes mmi1 which we have created one more company code i am taking mi2 which is a new company code that transaction as it is a new as it is a new company code i am assuming that it is having some financial crisis and to meet its activities to meet its to conduct its business organization business activities it is taking help from the old company code that is mmi1 it means the payments of mmi2 being paid by the mmi1 on request okay and later on when funds are adjusted when finance are adjusted in the company code mmi2 mmi2 will pay the amount to the mmi1 so the transactions are related to mmi t payments are related to mmi t but being paid by mmi1 for time being so mmi2 becomes good financially when it become wrong it will pay back the into to the mmi1 so the, how this transaction how this will be seen how this transaction which has taken place between two company codes in sap sum that will be understood under the topic called inter company code transaction or cross company code transaction okay hope i am clear with my explanation right hello yeah am i audible please yes so let us see the yeah, yeah, let yeah, us yeah. see the sap configuration yeah with respect to inter company code transact please take step number 1 step number one. so to to see this transaction we need to create one more code so take down the step create one more company code called mmi2 you can take any need the mm2 just for easy remembrance sake i am taking mmi2 create one more company code called mmi2 using 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 ec01 ec01 using ec01 transaction code is ec01 by copying write very carefully by copying existing company code existing company code mmi1 a company code mmi1 mmi1 please take down the path it's sap easy access sap easy access spro in command spro in the command box spro in the command box presenter presenter click on sap reference img click sap reference img s for m con enterprise structure enterprise click on enterprise structure <clears throat> enterprise structure <clears throat> 
then after enterprise structure it is definition 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 then financial account financial accounting then edit copy delete check company code edit copy delete check company code after financial accounting it is edit copy delete check company code edit copy delete company code click on the clock icon beside edit copy delete check company code clock icon click on the clock icon then write down very carefully double click on copy delete check company code first option double click on i do very carefully please double click on copy delete tech company code i said double click write down very carefully will click on copy delete check company code takes time please then on copy as copy organizational object icon here you can see on copy organizational object icon copy on copy organizational object on this it takes please please do So you can see here some processing is going on 70 per processor table on the bottom left side you can see that one clock is rotating so you should read 100 per tables so till we need to it <coughs> Next time, please do have patience. In real time, it will take more than four to five hours.
give from company code from company means the company code from which you want to copy in to create a new company code just go back to the description which i have given in more company code called mi2 using ec01 by copying existing company code mi1 mean we would like to create a new company code called mm by copying existing company code mmi1 from company code will become mmi1 and two company code will become mmi2 here you can from company code to company code. so in from company code give mmi1 and two company code it is mmi it not be mmi2 you can give any company four digit code mmi2 so from company code mmi1 on two company code mmi2 then press enter enter as soon as you press enter system will give some message look at message or copy the gl accounts if you want allocate the same chart of accounts to the target company code as to the source code i repeat once again observe my reading very careful only copy the gl accounts if you want to allocate the same chart of accounts ch by acc ts means chart of accounts only copy the gl accounts if you want to allocate the same chart of accounts to the target company code as to the source company code so here source company code is mmi1 target company code is mmi2 source company code is existing company code or old company code target company code is new company code that is mmi2 so what system is saying is i have created some gl accounts in company code mmi1 so system is saying that if you want to use the same chart of accounts of company code mmi1 then only copy the gl accounts created under mmi1 in order to create in create the gl accounts in mmi2 so if you want to use the same chart of accounts for this two company codes then copy the gl accounts which were in company code mmi1 otherwise do not create so generally we use the same chart of accounts okay so then the, do you want to copy the gl account company code data then write down click on yes click on yes by clicking on s yes, what system will do is system will create the gl accounts in company code mmi2 which were created in company code mmi1 again we don't need to create gl accounts i2 specifically so whatever the gl accounts whatever the number of accounts so far created in company code mmi1 those will be copied and created in company code mmi2 mmi2 as well so click on yes so as soon as you create you can s system system has given one more message the reference company code has local currency inr reference company code means existing company code that is mm mm is having local currency as inr if you allocate different local currency to target company code gl accounts with currency inr also checked do you want to allocate a different local currency to target company code in real it can be different local currency or it can be the same currency same local currency 
minister is asking do you want to allocate a different local currency to target company code local currency means other than inr so in real time it may for the new company may might local currency may be inr or may not be the inr yes to, to avoid future complications let us take the same currency that is inr for code mmi2 as well so do you want to allocate a focal currency to target company code click on no click on no then write down carefully get the message get the message certain data was not copied please message get the message certain data not copied ignore the message ignore the message presenter it will take some time ignore the message presenter again ignore the message you can see the message some lengthy message ignore the message send again it will take some time patience See the percentage is increasing 24 percent 25 so all the data which we have created mmi1 system is reading now and copying to mi2 new company whatever the settings we have done so far in mmi2 all those settings will be by the system in the company code mmi2 which we are creating right now
fine so again press enter again press enter again it will take some time please ignore the message ignore the message presenter presenter again presenter again presenter again presenter again presenter get the message get the message company code mm1 please note down the message company code mmi1 copied to mmi2 get the message company code mmi1 copied to mmi2 98 range objects without 98 number range objects ignore the message ignore the message presenter ignore the message presenter that's it next step so we have created company code mi2 step number two. assign company code mm i2 mm i2 to the company to the assign company code mm to the company using using ox16 use ox16 ox16 please take down the path sap easy access sap easy access then rvo command sprvo in the command present send on sap reference i am sense img enterprise structure enterprise structure enterprise structure assignment assignment then financial account financial accounting then assign company code to company assign company code to company assign company to company so click on this clock icon assign company code to company click on clock icon decide assign company code to company click on position you can see click on position give the number 
एम एम आई वन डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज टू दंपनी कोड एम आई वन इन द स्टेप डिस्क्रिप्शन वाइल गिविंग डिस्क्रिप्शन दट इज स्टेप नंबर टू आई सेड कंपनी कोड एम आई टू सी हियर असाइन कंपनी कोड टू एम एम आई टू टू दंपनी यूजिंग ओ एक्स वन सिक्स बट हियर आई एम सेंग यू टू गिव एम एम आई वन ओनली in the description i have given mmi2 here saying mm1 it correct only you will understand why i have given mmi1 so give company code mmi1 present press enter see we have created mmi2 against mmi2 give the company mm1234 which is a global company global entity consolidated entity which will locate people countries so against company code mmi2 give mm1234 click ajay uh, your voice is breaking or something how about now clear now yeah it's fine no again it was yeah, breaking yeah fine so Just check out once again. How about now? Yeah, it's fine. Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. So, yeah. Con save. Present. Get the message. Data was sent. Click on save. Press enter and get the message. Data was sent. right see we have created before going further before we learn further under uh, this concept of intercompany code transact we have done two steps first step we have created new company code called mi2 and we have created this new company listen to my explanation very carefully please this is where the concept comes to the picture see in step number 1 what we have done is we have created a new company MMI2 and this new company MMI2 we have created by copying from the existing company code MMI1. So by copying existing company code MMI, we have created two. That means whatever the settings we have done under the company code MMI1 so far, all those settings will be copied to MMI2. so let me take let me show you some example for example see we have created some few gl accounts under the company code a1 let me show you <clears throat> see mm company code mm mm i1 in company code mm i1 we have created three gl accounts 1 lakh 1 cash gl Three lakh one rent GL account, three lakh two salaries GL account. Okay, same GL accounts you can find in new company code MMI two as well because MMI two company code is a new company code which create copying MMI one. Therefore, whatever the settings we have done with respect MMI one, those settings will be done by the system in company code MMI two as well. Means all these three GL accounts must be existing in code MMI2. Let us check. I'm taking one more session. I'm creating one, moving one more screen. FS double zero. Here I'll change the company code MMI2. Better see in MMI2 also system has created two GL accounts. Understood? Yes. Right. Fine. Next. Next step. Step number three. Going to the step number three. Just uh, my assumption to make you understand for transaction. What I am assuming is just uh, writing some few points. It is you write in your notebook. M M I N E. an existing company code
then MMI2 is a new company code, new company code as MMI as the comp as the company code MI e new company code established recent it is take help from the existing company code M I one its payments oblique expenses are to meet its expense to meet its expenses let Later on, that is in future, later on in future, I repeat once again, as the company code MMI2 is a new company code, new company code established recently it is taking help from the existing company code mmi1 for its payments or to meet its expenses okay for example i don't like this for example mmi2 company code mmi2 has requested Company code MMI1. For example, code MMI2 requested MMI1 to pay it its rent. Its rent and company code MMI1 accepted has accepted request of MMI2 request accepted the request of company code MMI2 I repeat once again for example code MMI2 requested company code MMI1 to its and company code MMI1 has accepted the the request company code mi2 now the rent of mi2 rent of company code mi2 will be paid by code mi1 i repeat once again follow my reading very carefully the rent payable by the company code mmi2 will be paid by company code mmi1 see the transaction which is happening in this transaction two company codes are being involved therefore this transaction or this activity said to be intercompany code transaction or cross company transaction here what is happening the rent payable mmi2 company code mmi2 is being paid by company code mi1 so in this activity which company code is losing cash mi2 or mmi1 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 is lose. actually who has to lose the cash mmi2 has to lose the cash yes. ideally speaking rent, rent is an expense to be in to be paid by mmi2 it is raising MMI1 to make the rent payment on behalf of MMI2. So for MMI1 is losing the cash and later on in future. Okay, write down now. Later on, 
the company MMI2 will pay back pay back to the company code MMI MMI okay so to view this scenario we will have to do some more configurational settings let's see that step number three step number three. step number three please important please keep star mark for this number three create G Create intercompany GL account GL account create intercom GL account GL account in company code in company code mem I one M I one the account group account group assets assets using F zero create intercompany G account in company code M I one under the account group assets using fs double zero so take down the notes double zero give fs double zero in the command box give double zero in the command box just for a while i will stop sharing my screen again i will on it I'm sharing my screen. So give FS double zero in the command box. FS double zero in the command box. Presenter. Presenter. Click on assets account group, which is on the left side. Click on assets account group, which is on the left side. Assets account group, which is of state, and click on create. Click on create. Give the GL account one lakh because already one lakh one has been used. So I'm creating a new GL account. I cannot use one lakh one number for the new GL account. I should use next number which is available. GL account one lakh two. Give the company code MMI one. MMI one. Press enter. Press enter. Press enter. Here, select the account group. Assets. Select the account group assets. Group assets. Select the balance sheet account radio. Select the balance sheet account radio button. Short text. Mem zero account. Mm zero means under company code MMI one. We are representing M zero. New company code. And the GL account last MM02 account. MM02 account slowly will send. MM02 account. So click on control data tab. Click on control data tab. Select only balances in local currency checkbox. 
select only balances in local currency checkbox. Select line item display checkbox. Line item display box. Then give the sort key double zero one. You can give any sort, just I'm giving double zero one. Click on create oblique bank oblique interest tab. Click on create oblique bank oblique interest tab. Give the field status group G001. Give the field status group G001. Click on save. Click on save. and get the message and get the message <clears throat> data saved get the message data saved next step number four important star mark star mark step number four it inter company account in company code mmi2 create inter company account in company code mmi2 under the account group liabilities using fs00 create intercompany gl account in company code mmi for the account group liabilities using fs00 so next head on the path give f double in the command box give fs in the command box press enter press enter write down very carefully click on change company code icon click on change company code icon here you can see change company code icon give the company code mmi Give the company code MMI to presenter. Presenter. Click on create. Click on create. Here you can see. Click on create. Give the GL account to 2 lakhs. 2. 2 lakhs is for liabilities account which we create. 2 lakhs to and company code MMI to give the company MMI to presenter presenter here account group select liabilities account group select liabilities select balance sheet account radio button select balance sheet account radio button give the short text mm01 account mm01 account long text mm01 account zero account click on control data tab click on control data tab select only balances in local search box select only balances in local currency box then 
select line item display box line item display checkbox and do the sort key double zero one key double zero one click on pa of bank of interest tab click on pa public bank public interest tab give the field status group g double one give the field status group g double zero and click on save get the message data was saved get the message data saved data saved next next step again important concept very important setting wise is also very important step so keep star mark for that again step number 5 5 automatic account assignment automatic account assignment for inter company code actions automatic account assignment for in company code transactions using obya o b a using obya so just for the time being i'm i'm stopping the sharing Yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Please take down the path. SAP Easy Access. Then SPR in the command box. Press Enter. SPR in the command box. Press Enter. Click on SAP Reference IMG. Click on SAP IMG. then financial accounting here you can see financial accounting general ledger account general ledger accounting general ledger accounting then business transactions business trans business transactions then prepare cross company code transactions prepare cross company code transactions prepare cross company code transactions 
click on clock icon beside prepare cross company code transactions click on the clock icon give the company code one mmi one old company code or example code give the company code one mmi one then company code two new company code which we create that is mmi mmi2 so give company one mmi1 give the company code to mmi2 press enter press enter then debit posting key debit posting see here company one, that means mmi1 debit posting key debit will be created with 40 debit posting key 40 account debit just click on this drop button <clears throat> press enter click on button press enter C. Double click on intercompany code GL account that is MM02 account 1 lakh 2 MM02 account. I repeat once again click on the drop down button here company code must be MMI1 MMI1 press enter double on 1 lakh to mm02 account that means we are aligning mm2 gl account in company code mmi1 next credit posting key 50 credit posting key 50 and account credit same. click on drop down button Click on down button. Ensure that company code M1. If system doesn't show, you have to enter manually. So ensure that company code will be M1. Press enter. And double click on 1 lakh 2 MM02 account. MM02 account 1 lakh 2. Next, in company code 2, company code 2 means MMI2, posting key 40, debit posting key 40, and account debit, click on this down button, click on the drop down button, give the company code MMI2, Mem press enter and double click on two lakhs to mm01 account double click on two lakhs to mm01 account again credit posting key 50 credit posting key 50 account credit same click on this drop down button give the company code mmi2 give the company code mmi2 press enter press enter double click on 2 lakhs to mm01 account Double click on two lakhs to MM01 account. MM0 MM01 account. So click on save. Click on save. Press enter. Press enter. Get the message change have been made. 
did the say changes have been made change have been made next step next step step number 6 step number 6 activate activate inter company inter company code transaction active inter company code transaction for the document type for the yes sa yeah. activate inter company code transaction for the document tip ca yeah. using use the a7 i repeat once the description activate inter company code transaction for the document ca ub as for the time being i'll stop the screen again i'll say, please do wait I'm sharing my screen. The step which we are supposed to see is step number six: activate inter company code transaction for the document type ESC using OBA seven. So please. O B A seven in the command box. O B A seven in the command box. Press enter. Click position. Click on position. Click on position. Click on position. Give document type S yes, A. Yeah. Give document type S yes, A. Yeah. Give document type S A. Yeah. With the name administrator, I am getting some distance. Can you please yourself from your hand? Kind of administrator. So document type S C A. You document type S C A. Press enter. Select the document type S C A with color. Select the document type S C A with color. Select the document type S C A with color. Click on details icon. It is something look less. click on details icon see you can see here inter company postings inter company posts under control data section under control data box you can see an option a box called inter company postings so select inter company postings box select inter company postings box select inter company postings checkbox 
click on save click on save press enter and get the message data was saved and the message data was saved see the point we activate selected this inner company posting the box means without activating this enable is not allow to process inter company code transactions to type ea so for processing inter company code transactions in both the codes mmi1 and mmi2 this option must activated so activating this particular option will ensure that or allow end user to process cross company code or inter company code transaction both the company codes that is mmi1 and mmi2 in our exam then next last step step number 7 this is very important very very important please it is an end user end user activity so it's two star marks step number 1 process or post inter company transaction transaction using h02 using f02 using f02 f02 with brackets i'm taking one scenario rent pertaining to company code mm i2 b id company code mm i1 this is example transaction i am taking are you i'm taking so rent a company code my2 being paid by mm i1 on the request to clearly write down rent of rupees let's say 77000 you can take just some things 70000 rent of pc 7000 into company code mmi2 being paid by company code being paid by company code mmi1 that means this rent is an expense rate in code mmi2 actually speaking mmi2 has to pay this rent but request of mmi2 as cash is not available with mmi2 mm even in rent payment so cash will cash will be cash is cash will be lost in company code mmi1 so this is a transaction which is taking place in this transaction two company codes are being involved therefore this transaction must and should be processed in both the company codes right yes so it has to be it has to be recorded in both company codes means record must be available with respect to transaction in both the company codes that is in mmi1 as well as in mmi2 so record should be available means it shall be processed it must be processed in both the codes as processing the both company codes document will be generated a two company code separately that is what we need two that will be created one document Ajay, your voice is one company code. how about please is it clear and now when it's breaking am i clear uh, no, hello actually it's breaking again it's still breaking 
yes. Hello? Is it clear now? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's am I audible now. clearly? Yeah, fine. Yes. Okay. So it has to get recorded in both the company course. Should be recorded in MMI1 as well as in MMI2. That means document should be generated. Document will be generated in MMI1. Another document will be generated in MMI2. The user will process only once. It will process only once. Document will be created individually in individual company codes. So it will be done. that will be taken care by system. Now let's see how we need to process this transaction as an intercompany code transaction using F dash zero. So now give F dash zero two in the command box. Give F dash zero two in the command box. Press enter. I very carefully please. Give F dash zero two in the commands presenter. Do the document date day. The document date today's date. Today's date. Give the document type yes ye. If you apply carefully for the document, we have activated intercompany posting. Intercompany option has been activated, enabled for the document type SA. Yes, yeah. So, document type SA, yeah. company code, write down very carefully. Company code MMI1. MMI1. Existing company code, company code. Hosting date, today's date. Posting three, posting period three, posting period three. The currency INR, currency INR. Next posting key by default system with U forty. Please listen to my explanation carefully. Post key by default system will give 40. We need to change it into 50. Posting key 50. This is the area where you have to take care while processing the transaction. Posting key 50. Then GL account 1 1 cash G account. See, cash will be lost. Cash is being by MMI1. It is paying. On behalf of MMI2, it, MMI1 is paying rent. Means MMI1 company code will lose the cash. Therefore, it is it 50 credit going out. So posting key 50, the cash G account 1 lakh 1. Press enter. Press enter. Do the amount. Is the amount? 77,000 example have taken 77 so give 77 give the text the text rent of company code MMI2 being paid by Company code MMI1. I am giving you the text very carefully. Very meaningfully, I am giving you the text. Look, text. Looking at the text, we will understand that it is an inner company or cross company code. Rent of company code MMI2. It is an expense to be paid by MMI2. Actually, it has to be paid MMI2. It has to be by MMI2. But for uh, MMI2. MI1 is making payment. So, therefore, I have given the text very meaningfully stating that rent of company code MMI2 being paid company code MI1. Next, posting key 40. 40. Give the GL account 3 lakh GL account 3 lakh 1. 3 lakh 1. 
give the posting key 40 account relax one g carefully write down this is a new option new option here you have you can new company code field are you able to this new company code field visible yeah hello yeah so in new company code give mmi2 mmi2 in new company code field give mmi2 that means see look at the screen carefully one lakh carry account under the company code mmi1 as cash balance is reducing is being affected in company code mmi1 in company code mmi1 we use one lakh one and this cash is lost mmi1 because of rent expense pertaining to mmi that is the reason why against track one three lakh one we represent rent against this three lakh one we are giving mmu command so system will that rent of mmi2 rent rent of mmi2 being paid mmi1 in the form of cash hope i am clear with my explanation uh, your voice is breaking that's why it's not clear yeah How about now i repeat once again see here yeah. against this three lakh rent against three lakh one we are giving mmi2 because this rent pertains to mmi2 company code which is being mmi before in mmi1 we have to use cash gl account in mmi2 we are supposed to use rent gl account clearly understood uh, yeah. yeah so you company to mmi2 press enter write on very careful press and <clears throat> star in a field give star in one field plus to field you know the purpose of star and plus give yeah. in a mount field plus text field hello still breaking uh, yeah, but... you start in amount field plus in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my place. Second. How about now? Am I audible? Am I audible? Uh, yeah. Hello? Am I clearly audible? Yeah, now it's fine. Yeah, now it's fine. Be on the line. Please, please, please be on the line. Hello, I'm audible now. Yes. Am I audible, please? Yeah, right. So, give star in amount field plus in text field. Click on document on the main menu. Click on document on the menu. Click on simulate. Click on simulate. Click on simulate. See, observe the screen carefully. Given as account one lakh one, three lakh one rent GL account we have given manually. SMS pick up two more GL accounts automatically. One lakh two and two lakh two. Where from it has taken? Any guess? Hello. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, in that Not new company code. Any guess where from is taken? 
Yeah, we have done some settings in earlier. OBYA. We have assigned these real accounts. Maybe this automatic automatic account assignment for the company code transact. Correct, correct. Okay. So write on carefully. Double click on first blue line item. Double click on first line item. And give the text. Talk on code M to being paid by company code M M I one. Next, rent of company code M M I two being paid by company code I one. Click on back. Click on back. Click on back. Then click on last blue line item. Double sorry, double click on last blue line item. I give the text rent of company code M being paid by company code M M I one. Give the text rent of company code M I two being paid by company code M I one. Click on back. Click on back. Click on post. post click on post and observe the message care what which system will throw us i'm clicking on post See here. In company code MMI one, system has created document number nineteen. In company code MMI two, system has created document number one. Two different documents have been created in different company codes. Means, in this transaction, two company codes have been involved. Therefore, record should be maintained in two company codes. Intent record of transaction in two company codes. System has created one document in M I one, another document in M M I two. Okay, so click on continue. Click on continue. That's it. Okay, that's all for answer. Prithvi, are you in the line? Ah, uh, yeah, sir. Hello. The name administrator, ah? Huh? Yeah. Prithvi. Okay. Yeah, sir. Uh, yeah. Sir Prithvi, you can leave the session, please. I'm done with the session. Yeah. Um, Jay, can you explain my doubt today? Yeah. Is it okay? Ah, uh, can you? Your voice is breaking. Hello. Yeah, how about now? Yeah, it's okay, fine. Yeah, I'm done with this text. We other can leave this. Okay. Okay. Prithvi. Yeah, sir. Prithvi, then we will present just yes, now. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Miss Miss Screen share now. Okay. Uh, I need to click on share button, sir. Right? Correct. Ante. Oh no. no. Yeah. Sir, may I see if you just... open share? Ah, okay, sir. One minute. Sir, open just sir. No. Okay, sir, I'm procedure change, na sir. That is actually ah. me middle of the procedure. Change OB OB A seven. OB A seven. OB A seven, sir. A seven. Ah, present. Okay. No problem. Let it take time. Click on position. Yeah. S E document type S E presenter. 
select document type yes here click on that uh, magnifying glass left one right one second one Mag uh, details yeah. details yeah, uh, number and number information okay me company code and enter and yeah ma'am um, i1 click on change intervals click on change intervals yeah mm. give zero one there okay One. year year 2019 okay from number from number 1 hello from number third third yeah, field actually from in, number 1 actually path don't lo, worry don't worry. change don't, change interval tarvata okay. meeku add in, insert interval ani cheppinanu but meer yeah, yeah. year version meer use chestundi okay okay sir okay. so give from number 1 2 number 1000 10000 save click save present that's it i pinned okay and it koncham advanced version valla okay. vastundi and it with gst kabatti uh, vastunda sir led oh kada led suppose a chin example cheptha nen 6 version use chese meer 7 version use chestha and the difference okay 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 sir deen gurinchi nen don't worry emaina enduku rostunda anukunna thank you sir repa nunchi nen regular ga attend avutan sessions sir na shift kuda change ayindi okay okay ఎందుకంటే faculty has not taught me very well okay <laughs> sap is not at all good okay it is irritated me it is i am getting frustration they do not understand that yeah. so many editing so many errors will give you more clarity because you focus on that okay right? sir yeah okay prithvi right yeah yeah thank you sir prithvi. thank you so much yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell before me. before uh, yeah um, 